with no place to go. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Hey guys and welcome back to another vlogmas video so this video is going to be a little bit different it's going to be a sit down and get ready with me but in this video i'll be talking about the top 10 things that i have loved in 2019 more so songs music products all that type of stuff so let's just jump straight into this video so i'm just doing a little bit of a skincare routine so these are not in order but number one would be the ordinary skincare range so i've been using these two here don't even bother ask me pronounce their names but they're just like a liquid form and they come in a pump and you just need like the tiniest dot i think if i put too much it feels you feel it sticking there and then I'll do this before, um, after morning showers and nighttime showers. So I'm about to get ready to go to the Wiggles concert. So I'm just going to do just very chill makeup just with BB cream. I've been loving BB cream definitely in Sydney. The weather has been so crazy, very bipolar, hot, hailing, um, storming and muggy so it's disgusting and the first year that i'm a bit more comfortable in my body i can't even do anything with my like lay out and the sun will go to the beach because it's literally raining so yeah number one would be the ordinary products you can get these off um so i got these off adore beauty and everything's practically under 20 dollars. i think these cost like 11 dollars each and they are amazing there's an anti-aging one that i really want to try so i'm going to go buy that as well so if i look down i'm just looking at my makeup so number two would be my apple watch i don't have it on me because it's charging but i have used it every single day practically for the whole year i love tracking my that's the main reason why i use it i track my steps and my calories for the day so it shows you how much you burn and all that and it's really good while working out just to see where you are it shows your heart rate and then yeah, it tracks everything down in your phone. So I have an Apple phone as well. So it links up very well. I can take phone calls, um, send messages. That's what I really use it for, but mainly just the fitness side of things. I know it's a bit pricey, but for myself, I find it's worth it because yeah, it connects to my phone. So number three would be a TV show that I have loved all year. And that is Chicago PD uh if you don't know it's a cop show following the chicago pd uh they do more they take on like different type of crimes drug crimes lately it's been a lot of more drug crimes than sex crimes but um it's a very dramatic show if you don't like too dramatic i don't know if you'll like it but the storyline's really good but yeah we're up to the new season, season six, and it's very, very dramatic. There is also Chicago Med and Chicago Fire. We've started watching season three of Chicago Med. That's really good too. Uh, we haven't really gotten into Chicago Fire. And if you do buy them on DVD, they all cross over with each other. So we've brought like Chicago Med and there was like a few seasons from Chicago PD in it. So I don't like how it does that, but yeah, definitely Chicago PD. So the fourth thing would be my podcast that I've been listening to this year. I've been listening to a lot of like um, crime series. So they follow one crime throughout the whole podcast. It's not a different crime, every single one. So the one I've been loving is Someone Knows Something. Definitely listen to that. It follows a reporter and he it's like he when you listen to it it's like he's you can hear him talk to other he's talking to the victim's family and he'll interview people that have been suspects or know something or that type of stuff it's not like sitting down in a studio recording it yeah so i really like that style of like it's on the go it's on the movement you hear him in the car you hear him walking and he describes everything so i think there's like five seasons there's a sixth season coming out first season was really really good listen to the second season 
I couldn't get into the third season. I just listened to the fourth one and that was really good too. So the, the fourth season, I just feel like the crime was too far back for me just to get into. But yeah, definitely check out Someone Knows Something. The other one I've been listening to is My Father is a Murderer. That's an Australian podcast. And obviously in the description, the lady um, talks about her dad being a murderer, but he's in jail for the murder. So she wants to get, because she hasn't been in contact with him, she wants to get in contact with him. But in this season, she doesn't get in contact with him. But she's not on like the list to see him. So that was really good as well. And I've also been liking True Crime Couple. They are a couple that just do every episode of a different story. And it's just very relaxed and chill. And I find with when people do true crime podcast the way they just talk definitely on podcast um if they just don't have a good talking voice i just can't listen to it but these two i really enjoy as well and he the partner it's mainly the girl that talks and then the partner will just chime in here and there with like a little bit of import or his point of view or something got like hair on my face so my next favorite for 2018 is definitely a YouTube channel and that is Shane Dawson. I love Shane Dawson. I have been watching him from the beginning. I did stop watching him for a while when he was doing the videos in his kitchen and they were just like pointless videos. Um, and then I got back into it when he started doing conspiracy theories and then he started doing the mini series. So I really, really, really enjoyed the Jeffree Star one, and that one was major. The Logan Paul one was good, but I just felt like that one dragged a little bit. But yeah, definitely Shane Dawson, and I just think he's actually funny, and I love... Is it Ryan? Rylan? Not Rylan. No, no, the guy that goes along and um, films him and edits the videos with him. I really enjoy that, and I love... Um, Gareth and Drew but Drew hasn't been in it for a very long a time but yeah definitely Shane Dawson I so the next thing is a food and I recently discovered it maybe a few months ago and that is Atkin bars so if you're a chocoholic you want to find a little bit of a oh my god hair all over my face a better alternative oh my god hold on but if you want to find a better alternative for chocolate, I definitely recommend Atkins Bar. I discovered them while I was doing keto and it was, they are so freaking good and they just taste like real chocolate. You know, if you try healthy chocolate like Loving Earth, it doesn't taste the best. But definitely um, Atkins Bars, the caramel one, oh my god. And there's one that tastes exactly like Snickers. And you can get them from, I think, like Priceline, Woolworths, Cole. And they're always on sale lately. But yeah, definitely try Atkins Bar. It's so crazy, guys. Christmas is literally in, what, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, two, three days. How crazy. And I haven't even finished my Christmas shopping. I need to get my mum and my uncle something and then I'll be done. But I've spoiled the shit out of Musk. And day is very spoiled as well but i can't believe how quickly this year has come and gone practically so the next thing i would like to put on my list is um a music some music so of course this year i have been listening to sam smith but his album came out like two years ago so yeah so his music came out like two years ago so the album that i love been loving this year that did come out this year is the Ariana Grande Sweetener album. I am going through an Ariana Grande stage. I love her. I just think she's got the best freaking voice and it's hard to find someone that can sing live and actually sound really good. So if you haven't checked out Ariana Grande Sweetener, definitely check it out. And what else music I've been loving? Nothing really. No one's really brought out like amazing boppy good songs i feel like all the good songs are back in the early 20 early 20s the early 2000s and like the 90s they that was the era for like r&b and hip-hop which i love and i really love um actually meant to be with bb rex but i don't know if that song came out this year or the end of last year but yeah i've been playing that song a lot this year as well so my next favorite for 2018 is my pre-workout i'm gonna insert photos anyway because i don't have the products with me but it is called a thermonuke 
I think you can only get it from, oh crap, ASN Nutrition online. Um, it's, I think it's about like $70. There is a male's one and a female's one. So of course I've been using the female's one. It is literally the best pre-workout I've ever, ever, ever used. I sweat so much from it and I actually have to buy some more. So I might buy some more today because I have to buy it online because I don't have an ASN around me, I don't think. But yeah, I buy it online and it's something that is always, always sold out because it is so freaking good. But yeah, definitely if you're into fitness, it is a strong pre-workout. So I always say start off with a pre-workout that's not that strong. So for me, that would be like Oxy Shred because that's not strong for me. Um, and it's Thermomuc is like a fat burner. It's got things in there to help your hormones, which I find perfect. And then there is also like a... From the same brand there's like a thermonuc tablet type thing and that helps with getting your hormones back in track and estrogen and all that type of stuff as well yeah and then the next thing is all oh, that is bright like a diamond then my next thing would be definitely be my pt sessions something that i've um worked on all year as you can you know if you follow my channel or my instagram is my fitness and i added a pt to my fitness journey and my PT has become one of my really good friends at the same time. And Zendaya absolutely adores her. So I like doing PT because I learn new ways of doing things. Um, I've learned so many new exercises. It's what two sessions that I don't have to put too much thought in. I just have to really just show up and do it. But yeah, definitely I feel like if you're doing a fitness journey and you can afford it, definitely do a PT session because they teach you the right way of doing things, the right technique because the last thing you need is going to the gym and doing it the wrong way because you can really damage your body doing exercises the wrong way and two, so it's definitely someone can show you new things and new ways to push your body and you always need to change things up because if you stick to the same things it's definitely not going to, you're going to plateau a lot more so definitely at the moment we've changed things up we're doing a lot because I had a body scan, which I'm going to do a video about because I'm starting my fitness journey again. Not again, but must is jumping on the train. Is a video that a little series that I'm going to do next next year. We start in January, but yeah, definitely adding a PT session to my week has really helped a lot. And the last thing would definitely be. YouTube, I am definitely going to look back in a few years at 2018 by watching my YouTube videos back. So this year, as you know, if you've been following me, has been a really hard year. So it would be nice to look back in a few years and see how far I have come because I know this year with my YouTube channel, there has been a lot of like sad, depressing videos because that's how my year is. This is my channel. This is the way I want to do it. I want to be 100% real, 100% raw with you. When I'm having bad days, I'm going to tell you. And if I'm having amazing, fabulous days, I'm going to tell you. I'm not here to just show you the best things in my life. I feel like a lot of people on YouTube do that. They show the best things and it's just like Instagram. Like you see so many people showing the best things. Like it's just like the best highlight, but they never show the bad things that happen to them so you think they're perfect and I'm not perfect and I think my channel definitely shows that I am a first time mum and I have I literally say this channel is literally documenting my life as a first time mum and I have ups and downs and I'm sharing that with you so definitely my YouTube channel it's just a bit of like creative release for me I can videos up and work on them and it's something like I love filming them and editing them and I want to really focus on that in 2019 is my YouTube channel because I feel like I've got a lot to give and yeah it's, it's a very slow process YouTube and it's it's crazy but I'm really really enjoying it and definitely want to step it up 2019 definitely I'm going to have 2019 is going to be my year I'm going to be walking into the first happy leaving 2018 behind all the sad pressing emotions that i've had and you're going to see that on my channel so definitely make sure you subscribe to my channel to see what 19 2019 has in store 
but that is all my favorites for 2018 